So with Mick McCarthy out of the picture at Wolves, the focus is all on which manager will replace him. I hit the streets of Wolverhampton to hear your views. Some of them you might find surprising. Would you fancy to replace him now? Because there's a few names going around, like Neil Wolves. Nobody good enough. There's no one good enough? No. I'm not a lover of Neil, you know, with how he comes across, but I think he could certainly help us stay in the Premier and then make a firm decision on, on a long-term replacement. It wouldn't be my ideal long-term replacement, but I think short-term, get us through to the end of the season, I think he's the man for the job. To be honest, I fancy Chris Hewton from Blues, done a fantastic job at both Newcastle and Birmingham. They were both in messes. Uh, he took Newcastle up, he was unlucky to get sat there. In fact, it was a disgrace, and he's doing extremely well at Birmingham. And I believe if Wolves approached him, because Blues are still in the club in a bit of turmoil, I think he'd come. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I don't know, but whoever's going to take the job with that rabble that played against West Brom, it's, uh, it's a tough job. Oh, I honestly don't know, just anyone that can get us out of the bottom half, anybody, anyone, I'll do it, I'll have a go. <laughs> Paul Ince. What do you think he can bring to the team? You knock a bit of sense into him. I'd quite be happy to see Bully come back and let him have a go, let him have a crack at it. I'm pretty sure Andy Thompson, get get one of the old boys in to come and have a go. They knew what they were doing in their day, didn't they? So pretty sure they could have a go now. Get a few of the old pensioners, we play better than those locked down there. My biggest regret for Wolves is that we didn't do it earlier. You know, we, if we'd have done it October, November, we'd still got Martin O'Neill, you know, out there without a club. Um, we could then could have given him a bit of uh, finance to make changes through the, uh, the transfer window. But obviously that's gone now, so whoever comes in has got to play the players that, he's, you know, that are in the squad already. The season is far from over, we've got a third of the season left and I think anybody that can come in and motivate the team is capable of keeping us up. We've got to play all the clubs around us and I believe someone like Chris Hewton can do it. Um, if they're looking for a short-term fix, which has been mentioned, I'd look at Kevin Keegan. He's free, he's, a, he's, he's got that X factor and I think just him coming in uh, would motivate the players because we have got the quality there. It's clearly not good enough to get us in the top ten, as Wolves were suggesting earlier in the season, but there's enough quality there to get us to stay up. I think whoever we get, we've, we've got to buy players. It's all very well building a new stand. When we, you know, people ain't going to come to the ground, they fly like they did last time. Well, be honest, not with that. Who can say, really? You know, no. I mean, if you look at Martin O'Neill, Sunderland was right the way down the bottom. That's right, managing don't make the difference, but it's if they want to play. To me, that's as simple as.